What you should know about opioids. 1. Opioids work because they latch onto your own opioid system. In the 1970s, it was discovered that many species, including humans, have so-called endogenous, meaning within themselves, opioid systems. These systems play an important role in survival because they drive behaviors that are advantageous. They stimulate reward, hence they make things like eating and sex pleasurable, and they produce pain relief when it is needed, for example, when running away from a predator. When these systems were discovered, suddenly we understood why substances extracted from the poppy, like morphine, provide such good pain relief and also make us feel good. We had been using drugs extracted from poppies for thousands of years to treat things like diarrhea, cough, insomnia, anxiety, and of course pain, without really knowing why they had all these benefits. Now we know that morphine and other opioid drugs work because they latch on to our own opioid system. Another thing we now understand is that our own opioid system is recruited when we need it to protect us or stimulate reward, but it will always strive to go back to neutral or so-called homeostasis. When we take opioid drugs short term, there isn't time for the natural stabilizing mechanisms to work, so we experience their full effects. But when we take opioid drugs long term, our stabilizing mechanisms constantly fight against the interloper drug and the adjustment by our brains is experienced as tolerance to and dependence on the drug. The drug becomes less useful and hard to stop at the same time. Two, the best use of opioid analgesics is short term. Short term, opioid medications offer good pain relief. In other words, opioids are helpful treatment for acute pain that lasts only a few days or for pain at the end of life, which is also short lived. Although we have recently learned that for some acute pain conditions such as dental procedures or body surface procedures, anti-inflammatory analgesics such as Motrin or Tylenol can work just as well or even better than opioids, there remain many acute pain conditions for which opioids offer the best relief. And at the end of life, opioids have many advantages because they don't just provide pain relief, they reduce fear and anxiety. The place for opioid analgesics is in treating these short-term pain problems when the drugs are affected and there is less worry about the bad outcomes that are associated with long-term use. Nevertheless, there are many safety concerns with opioids, so they should always be taken under supervision or exactly as prescribed. If you are given opioids to treat acute pain, you will probably still have pain when your prescription runs out. That is when you should start using alternative means of controlling pain and not rely any longer on opioids. Three, there are lots of problems with long-term opioid analgesic treatment. We once asked, if opioids are so effective for acute pain and pain at the end of life, why don't we use them more often for chronic pain, especially now that we understand so much more about how they work? But we soon learned that there are lots of reasons that we should not use long-term opioids, mostly to do with what I mentioned earlier, that we naturally fight against opioid medications if we use them continuously and for a long time. Since fighting against opioids means setting up adaptations that do the opposite of the drug's effects, that means the underlying adaptations cause pain instead of relieving it, make you feel bad instead of feeling good, and compromise your ability to get positive or rewarding effects from your own opioid system. You can still get pain relief as long as you go on taking the drug, but at the cost of feeling sleepy, not thinking properly, not having any energy or drive, and needing to continue to take the drug in order to avoid worsening pain and feeling bad. We now know that function does not improve when we take opioids and that there are many alternatives to opioids that provide better long-term pain relief and better function. So for anyone whose goal is to live as normal and fulfilling a life as possible despite pain, opioids are not the answer. Four, there are lots of pain treatments that stimulate your own opioids and have better long-term outcomes than opioid drugs. Many traditional pain treatments work through our endogenous opioid systems. 
These include simple things like exercise, massage, relaxation, laughter, stroking, music, and established treatments such as acupuncture, mindfulness, meditation, and many other complementary treatments. We should also remember that most analgesics, even if they are not opioids, have strong placebo effects that involve our endogenous opioid systems. But none of this works so well if we are already on opioids. If you are already on opioids, it may be hard for you to believe that alternative treatments could be as effective as your opioid. But doctors now work with a lot of patients who want to get off opioids, or if they can't get off altogether, at least reduce their dose. Almost to a one, these patients feel better taking less or no opioid, do not report worsening pain, and begin to get relief from non-opioid approaches. This speaks volumes for avoiding long-term opioid use whenever possible.